Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and yes, if you're looking at the title above, this is part two of my Bath & Body Works Scandal Day haul. It wasn't a planned part two, but let me, let me, let me, let me tell you what happened. So, I went in on Friday, got all my candles, they didn't have any of the new spring ones, and I was okay with that, you know, even though spring and fall are my favorite season, I despise summer. I despise it with every ounce of my being. I don't like being hot. I don't like being sweaty. I hate it. So for me, I wasn't really looking for those. I really wanted spring. And where I work at my mall, there's a Bath and Body Works right next door. And I worked all day on Saturday, and the line was really long, and there was a little bit of a break, and I hopped over. They had so many new candles. Again, I did what I always do. I black out and I buy a bunch of candles. And that's what happened on both Saturday and on Sunday. I digress. Let's get into it. I'm going to try to remember to do these in the order that I purchased them. But, I mean, I don't always remember. But anyway, so on Saturday, I picked up a lot more of the florally spring scents. And I know in the candle community, People really like bakery scents. They don't really like the super florals or the super fresh. I love florals. I love fresh scents. Those are the type of scents that I typically do gravitate towards because they really speak to me. They're very natural. They smell like the windows are open. It's beautiful outside. So I do really like those. So the first one I got is Fresh Cut Lilacs. Now I want to point out in the White Barn Core Collection, which is what this is with the colored glass and the uh, rectangle label, they always are matte and they have this matte finish to them, but it gets really dingy, it gets really dirty, it's not a good look, but unless you keep them pristine, they look good. But other than that, they don't look that way. I noticed the newer pores for Candle Day are this glossy color. They're not matte. I'm hoping that they switch to that because I love this so much better. It just looks more expensive. It looks a lot nicer. So, anyway, I got Fresh Cut Lilacs. I love this light purpley lilac color. It's perfect. Lilac bouquets, dewy greens, and soft spring air. It's exactly what it is. Like, at this point now, I'm like, I'm over Christmas scents. I want spring, but I'm like, whoa, rain it back, rain it back through. Like, we still have a ton of Christmas to get through, but this fresh cut lilacs, for one, the wicks are like perfectly centered in here. The, it's that really thick rope-like wicks with the, um, with the core in the middle. I mean, I feel like this candle is going to be perfection when I light it, and I really hope so. It smells so good. It smells just like those big, bushy, purple flowers right out in the garden. You know lilacs, when you open your window and there's a lilac bush nearby, you smell it. They're one of the most fragrant flowers in the world, and uh, Bath & Body Works captured it perfectly. And what I like is it's not just lilac, it captures everything around it. It captures the fresh greenness of the grass. It captures the crisp spring air, the sunshine, the butterflies. It captures the entirety of spring in a candle. That's Fresh Cut Lilacs. Speaking of the perfect spring candle, I picked up the perfect spring. Now, I think this is really interesting. This is a, like, it is a matte finish, but it's not um, on the glass. It is a wraparound. It has these leaves on it. There's a rectangle that says flourish, and then it is the perfect spring. And the notes on the perfect spring are spring air, fresh grass, and apple blossom. Now, you definitely pick up a very watery apple tree fragrance. Now, Apple Blossom, just like Cherry Blossom, is not the fruit, it is the flower of the tree. So Apple Blossom, it, you get just a little bit of a wateriness, you do get the crisp like apple, but it's a background apple scent because you're really capturing the essence of the tree. The green grass, now see what I like about this is there's scents like green grass. That's like 
too real for me, too, like, ugh, it's too grassy. I like that this is like a sweet, dewy grass mixed with the florals in the air. Again, this does reflect a perfect spring day. The sunshine. Now, how I would layer in my home is I would have this burning in one room, lilacs burning in the other, sunshine and daffodils, which I'll talk about in a little bit, captured in the other room, so they all blend together. We have a place in Pittsburgh called Phipps Conservatory. I'm sure you have a conservatory near where you live, where there's beautiful fresh flowers. It's always so pretty inside, and this really captures it. Now I will say, if you've been following me for years, and I actually today was watching some of my old videos from like eight years ago, there were so many amazing candles. Cinnamon frosting, chocolate bacon cupcake, um, creamy pumpkin. There were so many amazing scents that I miss. And creamy nutmeg, and they just don't come back anymore. It's really sad. But anyway, Bath and Butter used to have a scent fresh bamboo that smelled exactly like a specific room in Phipps Conservatory and it was perfect and I know the second I smell that again I'll be brought, be brought back to like eight years ago when I was really into Slatkin and Company and really getting into candles but this is pretty it's a really nice spring scent and I love the like hammered metal lids I think it really adds a, a little bit more of like I hate to say elegant because it's like hammered metal, but it does add more like of an industrial-esque type of look, even though it is a spring candle. I like it. Sticking with the hammered lids, we picked up four candles. I, there's nobody else here, uh, picked up four candles in this like, I don't want to call it marble, but it does have the hammered lids. It has just a background with a one element on the front of a rectangle label, and this is Sweet Rosemary Vanilla. This is definitely a candle that was talked about a lot on Candle Day. I definitely knew I wanted to find it and pick it up, and I'm glad I did, and I'm kicking myself that I didn't get more, but what are you gonna do, I have a lot of candles. The notes are fresh rosemary, sweet vanilla cake, and whipped frosting. Now for one, the color is beautiful. I love this like, really like Kelly Green type of color now. I watched a lot of videos, and a lot of people say they smell cinnamon. They, a lot of people say, I mean, one YouTuber said it smells exactly like cinnamon sugar donut. No, I don't get that at all. I mean, it's interesting. Uh, rosemary is a very, like, real herbal fragrance, but with the vanilla cake... And the whipped frosting, it's almost like this is a spiced vanilla cake. We have, again, I'm reminiscing about Pittsburgh. We have a cake place called the Butterwood Bake Consortium. <laughs> there we go, a little pause there. The Butterwood Bake Consortium, I think it's called Consortium. I'm not sure on that last word. And they make these beautiful cakes that are made from like herbs and flowers. And to me, this is a very herbal cake, and I can see how people can, this comes across as cinnamon, but I can assure you it's not cinnamon, it is herbal, but it's an herbal that is very warm, and I think it's because the cake is so warm and moist that it's coming across that way. It's really different. I'm very, very intrigued to see what it's like when I burn it, but... I really, really like it a lot. Sweet Rosemary Vanilla, it's different. I think it's gonna be a cool like year-round kitchen fragrance, but again, interesting, to say the least. Sticking with this collection, we have Mango Waters, and again, we have these beautiful orange flowers behind the Mango Waters name, and the notes are sugared mangoes, pink grapefruit, and fresh seagrass. This is a very juicy mango scent. The same mango element that's in the pineapple mango candle that I talked about earlier. Ugh, it's really yummy. Pink grapefruit and sugared mangoes and fresh seagrass. I don't get the seagrass. It's definitely a very citrusy, sour citrus, which is the grapefruit and really bright, rich mango. And the color's interesting. It's like a peachy color. I really like it. 
I do know that one reviewer said that it smells a little sour when you burn it, but I don't know. I really, I'm really impressed. I like, I like the blend. It's almost, <laughs> this sounds crazy. I feel like they're almost trying to get the Capri Blue vibe from this volcano, but it's not the sun -washed citrus that I know people say smells exactly like volcano. It's much different, but it has that same like green citrusy type of fragrance. Really, really pretty. Like I said, these spring scents are totally up my alley. I love spring so much. Like I could take or leave tropical, like cocktail-y, beachy scents. I hate the beach. So to me, like spring scents are totally there for me. And this is spring in a candle in a different way. I really, I really need to stop saying, and I really like it. I obviously really like it if I picked it up. I mean, I know I definitely do purchase some candles that I don't love, but it is what it is. I addicted to home fragrance. Sunshine and Daffodils is the next one on the list. Sunny Daffodils, Bright Citrus, and Luscious Greens. This color, Sunshine Yellow, so pretty. Again, have these really thick core wicks that I love. They've captured sunshine in a candle, and I love it. Every second of it, sunny daffodils, bright citrus, and luscious greens. Daffodil is a hard scent to really capture because to me, they don't really have a scent. To me, it is a, a citrusy scent, almost like a lemon-lime without being pledgy or like Sprite-esque, like lemon-lime soda. It does have a little bit more of the green luscious green so it doesn't really tell you what greenery is in it but it definitely is like a plant-based green note it, this almost comes across as like a body care type of scent i feel like this is like a lotion or a body spray that um they've had before i want to say it's not though my favorite candle my well it wasn't actually a candle it what? It was weird. It was for a split second. I think it was like no, I don't even know. 2009, 10, 11. Um, Wild Citrus Sunflower. It was my favorite fragrance from Bath and Body Works of all time. And I kind of get that vibe from this, but I feel like it's not exactly or else I would have been like, that's Wild Citrus Sunflower. But I get that same sort of like bright yellow flower vibe from this and I think it'll be really pretty in the spring. Last but not least for that collection is the Blue Lavender Vanilla. I think this is interesting that they poured this in like a literal like baby sea foam or sea foam, sea blue color for Lavender Vanilla because Lavender is purple. It's definitely not the same shade of blue like a uh, Berry Spritzer was. <laughs> but the notes are Lavender Blossom, Creamy Vanilla, White Woods and Sugared Musk. If you smelled this before, there's no change. It's this very rich lavender vanilla, creamy, creamy vanilla with like a little bit of an herbal lavender. It's definitely a sweet scent though. So even though there is herbal vanilla in it or herbal lavender, the sweet vanilla definitely makes this a more sweet candle. But it's always a good one. It's a good bedroom scent. It's a good all year scent, good at night. Just a good relaxation type of scent and like I think it's interesting that this is like an aromatherapy line scent but they market it not aromatherapy either so it's, it's one that goes both ways and I don't know but it's a really pleasant scent and if you're into lavender scents definitely add this to your lavender arsenal but it's not anything like showstopper I mean there's definitely been a lot better lavender fragrances, but it's still a good one. While I move on to some more candles, I definitely wanted to give a shout out to Lewis at the South Coast Plaza store in California. I found him on Instagram. We were chatting a little bit. He's such a great guy. So cool. Um, yeah. And I know he's been, uh, exhausted from the craziness of candle day. So if you're watching this, Lewis, uh, big fan, you're such a cool guy. And yeah, anyway, continuing on, 
I picked up Sugared Snickerdoodle. This is, I don't have this version, the Holiday Traditions. I have it in that one with the gold leaf pressed white barn line. But it smells exactly the same. Warm spices, creamy vanilla, and sugared musk. Like a very cinnamony, buttery, baked cookie scent. The wicks on this are very, very, very high, but it's a really good one. I know my friend Lynn, her kids love this scent. She got one a few weeks ago, and they're like, oh my god, I need to get more. It's so good. It's just funny. Um, how, like, kids really like certain candles. And, I mean, they're adults, but still. Mm. It's so yummy. I mean, there's no reason why anybody wouldn't like it. It's not overly cinnamony, but it does have that, like, Christmas cookie baked scent. I love it. Next, from the Roaring Twenties collection, is Hot Buttered Rum. From my previous haul, this is the only one besides Peach Bellini that I didn't have, and I have a love-hate relationship with Peach Bellini. I didn't need it. I don't want it. So, anyway, Hot Buttered Rum says dark buttered rum, warm caramel, mulling spice, and vanilla bourbon. It has this beautiful banana yellow colored label with a bottle and some sh uh, champagne sparkles on the top. I was so upset I didn't get butter, or butter rum eggnog from Candle Day Online Exclusive. That was one that was totally on my list. I was on my phone trying to order it, but kept crashing, and I was just like, it's not meant to be, and then they were sold out and still not restocked, and it's Monday night, so, oh well. Anyway, this is very buttery. It has that very similar butter note that Sugared Snickerdoodle has, but rum, I really like alcohol in fragrances. I really like the way that they play with it, but this isn't like super strong on the rum like I would have liked it to be. It's nice, they bring it out every year. It's very butter caramel type. To me, this is a more blender with other bakery scents. Like, I would almost burn this with Sugar Snickerdoodle. Like, it's not anything like to write home about. It is a good one, but I'm not like, oh my god, I'm so excited. But it is nice to have in your collection to smell every once in a while. Yeah, butter rum eggnog, basic. Ah, it's not butter rum eggnog! Hot buttered rum. Uh, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. <laughs> On to something really, really exciting. So, I buy a lot of luxury candles. And this is a candle in the luxury world that has blown up a lot. Le Labo has one. Diptyque has one. It's a fragrance note that's pretty prominent in Byredo candles. It's Palo Santo. And it's an online exclusive at Bath & Body Works. When I went in, I was not expecting to find this candle. Or this one. Or this one. Or the three more that I have on my shelf. Because I love Palo Santo in every way, shape, or form. I already started to burn this one. I could not wait. The notes are Palo Santo, Warm Amber, and Soft Musk Cream. You definitely pick up on that clean, almost metallic-esque wood. If you like Gaillac wood, if you like driftwood, if you like birch wood, you would like Palo Santo. It's another one of those very clean type of woods. There's very, like, masculine, manly wood, like Home Depot type of scent. And then there's, like, Restoration Hardware, Pottery Barn type of wood. This is a Restoration Hardware, Pottery Barn type of wood fragrance. It's very bright very clean wood and I mean if I was going over a guy's house and his house smelled like this I'd be like put a ring on it because you know good candles and good wood scents let's stop talking about wood but anyway um oh it's so yummy and I love that it's like a bubble effect that is a luminary so when you light it it glows such a great candle and I love the line with the brushed metal lids and the white barn. I'm very, very, very impressed with the entire um, Palo Santo that they did iteration. And this is one you could burn all year. It's definitely not um, 
season specific. So this one's definitely a 10 out of 10 in my book. I love it. Last but not least, we have the cocktail collection. I'm not really sure exactly what it's called, but they are these shiny colored glass, black lacquered lids, and velvet labels. I love it. I picked up four, um, three different scents when I got two of. The first one is Party Dress. The notes are Sparkling Bergamot, Velvet Lilies, and Tonka Bean. I actually really don't like this. My aunt was out shopping and found this and picked it up for me. It's almost like, and I know it's interesting because it's called Party Dress, but it almost smells like a very cheap watered down men's colognes type of fragrance. I mean, I don't really care for it. Yeah, no real notes are detectable in this. It's okay. I mean, I'm just going to burn it for ambiance, but... Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I'm not impressed. And it's funny because I really didn't see many people hauling this, and I see why. You win some, you lose some, right? <laughs> oh well. Next... We have Mary Mimosa. It has this very pretty baby pink type of color jar. The notes are sparkling champagne, red apple slices, and iced sugar crystals. This is so good. It's interesting because the apple is almost like there are thinly sliced apples in your mimosa. So when you take a sip, you get the hint of it, but it's definitely not like apple prominent, which is which I really like and appreciate. Mm, that's really good. I really like that. Iced sugar crystals, yeah. It's a very clean and crisp New Year scent. This will be a scent that you could burn when you're alone on New Year's because the world's going to be shut down again because people aren't following social distancing and wearing masks and staying home. So, yeah, because America is selfish, you're going to be burning your Mary Mimosa candle alone at home because there's nowhere to go and celebrate on the New Year. Yum. Oh, it's getting late. Last but not least, I picked up, if you can guess, two Most Frosted Moscow Mule candles. And the notes on this read, Sweet Lime Lemon Zest Sugar Cane. This is interesting. At first, you smell like Island Margarita, but it's definitely not the same. It is like Lemon Lime Zesty with the saltiness. But Lemon Margarita, or Island Margarita, is a lot stronger on the Lemon Lime, where this is like it's a Lemon Lime seltzer water, where it's almost like, my, my grandfather says seltzer's like the fruit ran through water, because it's just like a bland flavor, you don't really taste it. I love seltzer, so of course I like this, but that's very much what it smells like. It just smells like... Where in Island Margarita, those notes are very prominent in the sparkling drink. These are just barely there. But I like that about it because it does make it different. And it does make it clean and crisp. And it also justifies burning a very citrusy, summery-esque scent in January and being okay with it because of the sparklingness. I'm very impressed by it. And I love it. I love the label. I think these would be super fun, like, at a bar, if you had, like, a bar at your house, or, like, a bar cart, you know, I think it would look really fun after it's empty, even putting, like, um, like, clean it out, because you want to make sure that it is food safe after you clean and wipe it out, putting, like, limes or lemons, or even keeping, like, salt in here to make cocktails, like, mix-ins. I think it would be fun. Mm, yum. So I'm very impressed with this. Well, that was a lot of candles. Again, I had like 15. But thank you guys for watching my part two candle day. It is Monday, so candle day is over. There won't be a part three, thank goodness. But let me know if you guys picked anything. I also want to give a big shout out to Bonnie, Queen of the Girl Geeks. She puts so much time and effort into all of her videos. She's such a great person, such a great YouTuber. I mean, when info is there, she is on it. She has a job, she is a mom, she's a busy girl, but she still has time to sit down and make videos for us, create really, really informative content. 
and I just feel like she needs appreciated a lot more. So starting this thread on giving Bonnie a huge shout out, she does a lot of work for the candle community and the Bath and Body Works community. So a little shout out to her and then some of my favorite YouTubers for Bath and Body Works content, Tina Marie with True Meaning of Radiance and then Brett Young, Brett, is it Brett Young? I believe Self Care for Men, he has a YouTube channel. I'll link all their YouTube channels down below. I really, really like his videos. There's a couple of them that really make some good content, um, but yeah. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, wear your mask, and I'll talk to you soon.